Hi, welcome to my channel, Gigi's Altered Objects. If this is your first time here, thank you for visiting. If you like what you see, please subscribe or give me a thumbs up. By subscribing, it helps YouTube recognize me a little faster. Today I'm going to share another altered bottle that I have for you. Uh, this is another bottle that Natalie gave me. Thank you so much. It was a um, Cuervo bottle. So instead of painting it, I started by decoupaging with Mod Podge and a pink. I used the entire sheet, one sheet of tissue paper. And I did that because there are many engravings and raised glass. So just painting it wouldn't, wouldn't cover that up. So I, of course I wanted it to look like something different. So after the Mod Podge dried, I used one of my new shallow molds and all the molds, uh, the items that I molded today come from miniature luxury and papers. So here is one and I treated them all the same way. So I'll show you the uh, clay pieces and then tell you how I did them. Now this is air dry clay, so that's a little different, but I painted them, colored them the same way. And there's another one on the back. So for those, what I did, the way I colored them was I used Tim Holtz. I used both of these Distress inks. I used his picked raspberry and sponge sugar. I put the sponge sugar on first, let it dry for a few minutes, and then wiped it. Oh, I skipped a step. I painted all of them with acrylic paint first, and it was this shimmer paint, and that's why they have that glisten to them. So I let that con totally dry, and then I added the distressed inks one at a time, starting with the sponge sugar, that's the lighter one. And I left that for just a few minutes and then wiped it with a paper towel. And then I repeated that step with the picked raspberry that's a little darker. And then wiped it after uh, just a minute or two. When that totally dried, I added the vintage photo Ranger him to, I'm sorry, Ranger uh, Tim Holtz distressed stain and this one is vintage photo it's one of my favorites i use it quite often and again i just put it on for a little a minute or two and then wiped it off i didn't want to i wanted to have a layering effect of colors and i think that you can see that that was accomplished with this so other things that i did to the bottle i did add some metal filigree on top of the lace around the top of the bottle underneath the wing wings you can see and over here and then I added a metal filigree butterfly and I put a black butterfly on top of it I have one of my metal prima flowers I layered that with a little prima black flower as well on the side I did a little beadwork I like my projects to have some movement. So I added that to cut pieces of chain, and I also did some beadwork to put in the cork. The cork I wrapped with a great fuzzy yarn to give it all that textured look. Um, I used more of the pink lace that I've used before, and here's another just layered flowers. I took three different flowers out of my stash and layered them up, created a silver, white, and clear bow for behind, added some bling to the bottom and to the sides, and these shiny roses. On the back or side, I have another set of wings and the poem Dreams by Langston Hughes. So again, I wanted to uh, tell you this thin mold that I did right here. I found a way to unmold it, makes it so much easier. Um, I wanted to show you, this is what I consider a thin dusting of cornstarch. I sprinkled it over the whole thing, turned it upside down over the sink, and tap, tap, tapped. And let me tell you, the medium, which is mixed media art cream paste, when it dried for 24 hours, it came out in seconds instead of minutes. I didn't have to go around the corners and pick each little thing. It just came right out. 
All right, so I hope you like today's project. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you do. Uh, you can go to my blog, www.ggsalteredobjects.com to see more videos if you'd like. I hope you have a great day. Happy crafting.